David King has worked hard all of his life. King is from Battle Creek, Michigan and went to Lakeview High School. He played on the men's varsity basketball team, but didn't get any playing time. David, not getting the playing time in high school, did it change your mind about playing college basketball? Well, I knew I always wanted to play, but I guess getting the amount of minutes that I w wish I could have gotten, I mean, it's really just dependent on the coaching staff that I was playing under. But I always wanted to play, but I really didn't get, I didn't really take basketball seriously until after I finished high school. So it didn't really affect my decision, but once I got to the college level and I realized the competition, I realized the uh, guys that I'm competing against, I knew that I needed to up my game to a, a, a higher level. After high school, King enrolled in community college 10 minutes from where he lived. For his first year of college, he focused on his grades. His second year, he tried out for the men's basketball team and made it. Now, David, you took a year off from basketball, but still made the Kellogg Community College basketball team your sophomore year. What did you do to prepare yourself? Well, honestly, I prepared myself physically and mentally because I knew that it was going to be a hard task to do. A lot of people might think, you know, junior college is not really that big a competition, but a lot of competitors and athletes who can't make Division One go to junior colleges to play their athletics. And so I just prepared myself shooting every day, conditioning every day, pretty much working out every day, lifting weights at least three times a week, pretty much keeping myself in the gym and just uh, repetitively doing drill after drill after drill to make sure that I was at a point where I knew I was comfortable and I knew that I'd be able to compete. King had an amazing two years at Kellogg. He led the conference in block shots, averaged 11.5 points a game, and 7.5 rebounds a game. King played to his potential and got recognized by the men's Lindenwood University basketball coach. The coach offered King a full ride scholarship and, and King took the offer. How did it feel knowing you didn't get any playing time in high school, but now you're at a four year college and a part of the starting five? I mean, how does that make you feel? I mean, I've always been a humble person, and going through things, sometimes you have to go through things just to be able to, well, I'm going to put it, you go, through, you go through things to become a better person, pretty much, and I'm thankful for playing at Lakeview. I was honored to play at Lakeview, especially under those coaches, and I mean, it really benefited to me in the long run, so if that didn't happen, I probably wouldn't be playing. Today, or I might not really have taken basketball to the next level thinking that my skills were good enough average at high school, but knowing you have to really up your game if you want to play at the next level, college and professional level. So I'm really thankful for going through what I went through at Lakeview because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be at where I'm at today because it really just drove me to become a more competitive person and my determination to want to succeed and be a leader and get to where I'm at today. David King is a man that sees his goals and doesn't stop until he completes them. Two of King's goals was to be on the college basketball team and win a championship. He is on the team. Now it's time to get the championship. And I really look at Kobe Bryant as an example because a key quote that he said before is, is that hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. 